Hey everybody, Daniel here from Basement Tech. Well, some more decent progress on the CNC controller for the router, for the CNC wood cutting router. Um, I want to show you that progress, and I think maybe it's close enough to actually try using that box uh, for a test with a motor. So let me show you the, um, the updates on the wiring, and then I'll attempt live to see if we can make a motor move. All right, here you go. Well, hopefully you remember this controller that we've been working on, the subject of the uh, last couple videos. Um, the quick tour, we have 48 volts here, this Mambo 48 volt uh, 20 amp power supply. It's pulled in by this big red button over here, which pulls that relay in. In case of power failure, the relay won't engage, and uh, that is maybe a little safer than um, uncontrolled motion. Uh, active air control, uh, active air movement, I should say, with that uh, fan up there, 5 and 12 volts, uh, switching power supply there, the smooth stepper, uh, a couple of breakout boards, and finally the motor controllers. Um, remember that little shunt there, we're going to measure current, uh, total current to the motors and do something uh, fun with it. So uh, last time I think I had the 48 volts wired up, that's pretty cool. This time I started to add some of the signal wires. This is that um, that uh, breakout board and I added some step in direction for two of the controllers up here you can see that um, also I guess the big wiring that's left to do will be for the limit switches which I don't have done yet but remember that fancy panel peeking out back there is going to bring the limit switches in through some mini XLR connectors Ethernet will come in that way and the motors will go out that way through some DB9s so if you've been looking closely, you might have noticed a couple clues that maybe we're ready to start an actual motor test. One would certainly be those four wires coming out of the, the motor um, connections on that uh, one controller there. It goes over to this motor here, and we'll try to do that uh, in a minute. The second clue, of course, was the fact that the Ethernet is actually connected to the smooth stepper. Remember, the smooth stepper takes uh, Ethernet in and outputs sort of emulated uh, three uh, parallel ports and uh, feeds these breakout boards and, um, and takes in uh, through those uh, breakout boards the limit switches and all that kind of stuff. So let me uh, fire up uh, Mach 3 and let's see if something will move. Okay, here's Mach 3. You hear the whir of the fan in the background. I turned on the little power switch, which remember only brings in the 12 and 5 volts. I have yet to push that big red button with any power connected to the controllers. I'll give that a try in a minute. Over here on Mach 3, I did a configuration which only includes one motor. You can see that there with the one green check mark. And then the input signals um, all just X'd out, including the E stop. A little surprising that Mach 3 would let you do that, but it, it did. And um, I set the, sorry, back here on motor controls, the port and pin to match what I just wired up over there in the box. So I'm gonna say okay here, no change. Mach 3 comes up in an e-stop state, but consider that kind of a software e-stop. All right, the moment of truth. Let's work our way back over here. Notice there's no uh, color, no LED glowing through these little green, or these little boxes here. When the 48 volt is engaged here for the first time, I expect to see some color, probably red leading to green, but let's see. Remember over here, this is a big push button. When I push the button, it engages the relay, and then the light here actually is fed back from the relay to tell me that it, in fact, engaged. So you'll hear the clunk of the relay. Let's watch for the color of the LEDs. All right, you see red and green giving way to green. Rock on. I don't smell any smoke, which is a good thing. Let's go up here to the one that actually has the motor connected. And I think you'll see that one's glowing green inside there. So now we have 48 volts to the controller. The um, Ethernet smooth stepper is happily blinking along doing its continuous handshakes. Um, wow, I think it's getting close. Now, the moment of truth. Uh, I'm gonna press the clear the e-stop over here. And again, that, um, it's just a software e-stop that happens when uh, Mach 3 comes up. Those of you who have used Mach 3 with a keyboard know the x-axis is typically on these hot keys, which is what I had programmed uh, from before here. So if I, in fact, press one of these, 
I certainly hope, let me get some of this junk out of the way, that this little motor actually spins. So, here we go. Rock on, all right. This is uh, really probably, this is so exciting. Um, I'm expressing as much emotion as an engineer can possibly express. But the fact that that one works means all of the rest of them will work, I hope, when I get them wired up. Um, I have to decide how much testing to do here before I just take it down to the shop and give it a whirl. So as I say, next wiring, finish up this, the step and direction on these three, wire up the limit switches and give one or two of those a test to see how that works. Then we're heading down to the shop. Can you tell I am actually giddy with excitement here? Um, we'll be heading down to the shop, deploying this thing, and uh, starting to cut some wood. That'll be the next video on this topic. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you really did, give it a thumbs up. If you want to make sure you don't miss the first uh, wood cutting with the new controller, definitely subscribe and choose send me notifications and you'll see these videos.